happen. Oh, it's not Sal's voice. Well, okay, you did just hear Sal's voice, but... But not for long. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Refreshing. I knew that would happen eventually. Oh, it's too heavy. Sorry. It's just simply too heavy. <laughs> but just too big. Wait up. It's cool that you won't tell me. They shouldn't be there. Well, I mean, like, they're there, but they can't see. But we're not there. They can just see that. Oh. It's pretty cool. Bing, bing. <laughs> bing, splash, bing, splash. It's pretty accurate. It is. Kind of. Bowser looks weird. No, he's cool. Why do the toads still have belly buttons? Well, you don't know. Are they mammals? <laughs> are they, are they plant? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so the rallying summit was pretty cool yesterday. It was oh, fun. It looked cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and a good turnout and Yeah, I was gonna ask, did a lot of people show up? Yeah. Oh yeah. They had um people from all different like walks of internet press mm. and stuff, so that was cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. And um they had a good showing. Like they did they did a nice job. They um you know, everything was pretty much new. I mm -hmm. think there's only one thing that people knew about beforehand, and it had to do with um, the way the solicitations come out oh. for comic books that are going to be in comic book stores. Mm -hmm. So they knew no matter what, one of their announcements was going to be out, but that's why they had to push it out tomorrow, because if they pushed, if they held back any longer, then more things would start to appear without them telling people about right. it. So they wanted to have the rights to tell everybody about it and get everybody really excited about what was going on with them. Yeah. So, yeah, it was cool. Very cool. There's one. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Okay. And then I guess try reinitializing. We'll see if that's any better. And I will project <laughs> for as long as I can <laughs> because we talked a lot yesterday. <laughs> right. So. But you sound good. Thanks. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks. You're like, I'm going to cut out halfway through. Yeah, halfway through it's going to be, I'm going to be like, I don't know no more guys. So yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun. And I think once we get rolling, I'm going to mm -hmm. pitch you two titles I think you might dig out okay. of the seven that came out of the, the new stuff that Valiant's doing. Cool. And then we'll go into our actual discussion. Yeah. So that'll be really cool. We're good to go? Not yet? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep vamping. Um, I'm going to just launch you. So, uh, oh. I'm oh. Launching? So you're ready. I'm ready. Wait for me to leave, and then you can start the show. Okay. All right. And Sal is out, so we are officially starting the show. Welcome, everyone, to the Elseworlds Exchange. I'm Tiffany, and today I'm joined by special guest Danielle, who had no idea she was going to be on <laughs> the podcast today. Um, but since we were at the Valiant Summit yesterday, Sal was unable to have the opportunity to finish cutting back issues. So to ensure that back issues will be coming out tomorrow, he's not doing the Elseworlds Exchange. Also, Joel's having some technical difficulties right now. So Here it's are. me and Danielle <laughs> talking to you guys. Um, yesterday was the Valiant Summit where they announced seven, like not new, but it, well, some of them were new, mm -hmm. but seven awesome things that are coming for the future of Valiant at, uh, up until the end of 2016. Um, a lot of them are going to be limited run four issue books that they do a lot of that because okay. they want to tell a self-contained story yeah. and then maybe an ongoing. And actually the first announcement that they had was Faith getting her own ongoing series. So that's kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, but the two things that I took away that were things I was the most excited about, I think you might actually really dig. They're okay. two brand new titles 
with new characters from the Valiant universe. Okay. And as you know, the Valiant universe is in fact a shared universe where they have, you know, superheroes, Syat kind of characters, they have everyday run of the mill characters, they have paranormal stuff going on, they get a little bit of everything all rolled into this universe, but they try to make sure that everything is contained within the universe, mm. and actions that happen in the universe affect it for good. Ooh. Oh. So, so, okay. The first one is a book called Britannia. Okay. Um, it's pitched as, like, it's kind of like one line pitch is the first detective in Rome. Ooh, okay. Like the world's first detective. Right. The way they described it was um, Game of Thrones meets 300 mm -hmm. meets American Horror Story. Oh, it's okay. got, um, <laughs> it's about this guy named Britannia mm -hmm. um, who ends up meeting the Vestal Virgins who teach him about psychology so he starts to mm -hmm. question why people do things which yeah. is where he gets into the detective role and then they throw in this supernatural element and they're going to throw in a horror element. Ooh. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about it. I believe it's a four issue run. Cool. So you're gonna get a complete story and then yeah. we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Number two. Right. Savage. Mm -hmm. That was the one I was kind of the most excited about. Mm -hmm. Um and so uh, a lot of people in Valiant were pretty excited about that. Um and I'm gonna be handed something. This is not related to, to <laughs> Savage, um, but I am going to use this on as many shows as possible. First on me. First so. on Danielle. Um this is a, a an ax. Um, from Valiant, it's from the, the Wrath of the Eternal Warrior. Wow. Um, this thing's awesome, and they wouldn't let me carry it around New York. <laughs> Which is fair. No. <laughs> you never know when Vikings are showing That's up. True. Okay? That's true. Okay? Alright? This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. It this is. is one of a thousand reasons why Valiant is awesome. <laughs> um, but Savage. I'm mm -hmm. so jazzed about this series. And I gotta tell you, every single book they announced yesterday had a great hook. Yeah. And then they're like, and here's the human story. Mm. People probably heard me say that yeah. yesterday, but I mean it. Okay, so this book introduces a brand new character mm -hmm. who um, is a 15 year old boy. Okay. And um, it's based on the fact that there was a family, or it was like a famous soccer star and his wife that were um, flying wherever, and their plane went down, and no one ever heard from them again. Right. And then okay. 15 years later, enter this boy who's living on this mysterious island. Is he their kid? Is he not? Who the mm -hmm. hell knows, right? Yeah. He's living on this island, surviving, essentially, kind of seemingly on his own, but they're not telling us that, yay, yay yeah. or nay to that. Mm -hmm. The island is filled with dinosaurs. Oh. And he has two raptor claws that he uses like <laughs> machetes. <laughs> He's got, like, T-Rex teeth for a necklace. Yeah. And... He's, he's like grown up seemingly here entirely. Right. Possibly, who knows? They're not, again, they're not mm, telling us everything okay, about it. Okay. I did get a chance to talk with the CEO, mm -hmm. and I mentioned, I was like, you know, based on some of the stuff that they said about like, you know, taking a family of like this, you know, this privileged nature yeah. and having them lose everything and then enter this boy and, and is it their son? Is it not their son? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and how, um, you know, we teach our, you know, children, it's like, for our culture, what it's civilized. For other cultures, they teach what that what is civilized for them. Yeah. Um, is the savagery just the savagery of the island? Is it the savagery of the outside world? Like, what does yeah. savage mean? I was like, I think that there's something more to that. And he was like, No, I'll tell you. Oh. He also mentioned there's some stars over the top of it of the title. Yeah. Itself. He's like, Does that mean something? Who knows? Ooh. I like how much mystery is surrounding this. Yeah. And it's got dinosaurs. Ah. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Cannot be dinosaurs. Big freaking action. <laughs> <laughs> Raptor claws. <laughs> so those are like some things that I was really excited about. A lot of people are also excited for um, is a Unity or sorry, not Unity, Divinity Three. Okay. Um, called the subtitle of that is Stalinverse, where they're taking the characters of um, some of the characters of the Valiant universe and they're making Russian versions of them. I was like, oh, fun on a bun, right there. That is. Still more excited. For me, I'm more excited about right. the other two, but I know a lot of people are excited for Stalinverse, and cool. I think they have every reason to be. So. Yeah. Yeah. That'll lead everybody up into December. Okay. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. So, what do we actually come here to talk about? Well, guys, I'm going to grab my phone actually for this. <laughs> oh, no, I just grabbed my phone for this. Um, because Nintendo just the other day came out and said that they were looking to make animated movies. About time. Right? <laughs> Look, guys, I know they had a bad experience with Mario, the live action. I know that they, oh, no, I can't have this anymore. <laughs> You'll have to fight her for it. I have to I have to give up my axe. Awesome axe. I don't think that's actually in the Valiant store, but they do have awesome stuff in the Valiant <laughs> store. 
That would be an amazing addition. That would be. I would keep checking there frequently, <laughs> see if they Fresh. started actually selling those. Yeah. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> anyway, so, look, I know Nintendo had a really bad experience with the live-action Mario movie. Yeah. It's understandable. <laughs> At least they tried it, though, right? Yeah. And then after that, they were kind of like, nah, we're not doing that yeah. anymore. But it looks like they're coming around. Okay. Now, I don't know if that's with the passing of um, their CEO. Yes. Um, or what? I don't know what the difference is now. I don't know if it's just that they've noticed that um, Pixar, Disney, yeah. they've been doing a great job yeah. with animated they movies. Have. They have been. They handle characters well. Wreck-It Ralph, a video game-based movie in which Nintendo had no presence in, right. but they handled a lot of legacy yeah. characters from video games, from retro excellent. gaming. Yeah, in a, in a really nice way. Maybe this is, like, the thing that they were finally like, all right. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Come on. Yeah. Um, I do want to go over a couple of things that were, were said. Yeah. Um, part of what people have heard is that um, Nintendo sold their stake in the Seattle Mariners baseball team, and in theory that money is going to be financing the movies. Oh. A lot of it seemingly will have to do with the amount of money that comes in over this year to mm -hmm. see where things go. And they're not like, that's it, like, we're making movies and, and, like, this is the slate. They're like, we're in talks. Yeah. And we'll let you know more. Right. They're not committing to anything, and I'm kind of like, but why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess they're just trying to play it safe. Exactly. Exactly. Um, they said, quote, now we're talking to various partners. In the not-too-distant future, I'd like to get some sort of form ironed out, but this time, rather than licensing, our, our, our current thinking is that we'd like to do as much as we can ourselves. Hmm. Okay. So, what that says to me is CG. Yes. They've got the models. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've got, you know what I mean? They've got all the stuff for it. Yep. For a lot of the games, they've been doing world building. If you look at Smash Brothers alone, they have the yeah. models there. Granted, you know, they have certain animations for them, whatever, but the model's are already done. Yeah. The look and feel of certain games are already done. Mm. Mario, they've yeah. done so many Mario games. Galaxy, the the yeah. new Mario side scroller, right. Mario 3D World, it's all there. Yeah, there's they, nothing they have to reinvent. Not really, unless yeah. they're going to come up with something brand new. True. But they've got it already. Yeah. So that's kind of cool in and of itself that Nintendo, if they do this, mm -hmm. wants to have a hand in it as much as possible. Yeah, there, I would like, too. If I was them, like I wouldn't want. Well, you after know. you know, after John Leguizamo and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of get it. Like, yeah. I definitely get it. And I think this is a good avenue. While I certainly, and I'm sure you would as well, love to see a live-action Metroid movie or a live-action yeah. Zelda movie, Ugh. I am totally okay with going forward with them doing, like, an animated Mario movie, an animated Kirby yeah. movie, an animated Mega Man movie. Yes. Those would be amazing. And let's be honest, an animated, like, Zelda movie mm -hmm. would also be cool. And oh, same yeah. thing with Metroid. Absolutely. It could totally work. Oh, yeah. All of these could work. It, it definitely does. Yeah. So it makes sense that they want to go this route. But yeah. I wouldn't be upset if they, you know, inevitably made a live-action movie yeah. of one of those. Yeah. Metroid would be awesome as a live action movie. Be. Like a dark, gritty space movie yeah. with like crazy aliens and like this person in this, you know, yeah. armor that everybody knows is a chick now. But at the time, that was a cool yeah. reveal. That was a cool big surprise. reveal. Big surprise. Now we got Zero Suit. There's no. There's no. There's no imagination. It's anymore. clearly, you know, it's, yeah. it's literally <laughs> the opposite of the first effect. Um, so we're going to keep going on mm -hmm. with some of the quotes. We've, we've done that before, um, talking about the live-action movies. Right. So we've done that before, <laughs> so probably not a live-action one. Um, because the I, I have the IPs, we're thinking we could do something like Disney Pixar. Mm. It is something to keep in mind as we make all this concrete. And then they said about, you know, they don't want to give anything away. Yeah. But they do say, they <clears throat> did say that they probably want to do something everyone's familiar with. Hmm. Okay. So I don't think we're going to be seeing an Earthbound movie right away. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Um, it's a shame. Quote, I want to use an IP that is popular with everyone, mm -hmm. but I'm not saying it's going to be Super Mario. Oh. I'm only saying that we'll put something out that everyone knows very well. Okay. I can, and then quote, I cannot, I cannot definitely say this year, and we're currently in talks, if funds flow in this year, I'm saying I'd like to put that money to use. And I'm not saying I'd like to use it in five years in the future. I want to implement it before then. Mm -hmm. So. This is something they're serious about? Yeah. This is something that's going to actually depend on the amount of money that people as a whole spend on Nintendo? Right. So that's one thing, yeah. first of all. Second of all, they're not putting out a whole lot of games this year, so what, I, they did Star Fox. Yeah. Put out the Zelda game. Trust me, you'll have all the money you want. Like that, that open world one? Put that money out. You'll have all your animation money right there. Oh, yeah. Just put it out, yeah. right? 
what do you think it is? If it, if they're saying they're not saying Mario, it could be Mario. They could be just it, saying that to say could, it. Yeah. It could be like, oh, it's What do you think it would be? Something that is well known? I would say... But lends itself to this format. I would say... You know what? What's bad is like I'm so gun home like just Zelda. I'm a huge Zelda. You fan. are. I know, and I just think like for some reason that like just the epicness of it and like the story I think kind of lends itself better to a movie. Yeah, in that sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uh, I mean I love Mario too. Don't get me wrong, but like that was kind of a unless you have like a full story like Mario RPG for example, where you've got like an entire you know storyline that you go through. Otherwise, it's just Mario. He's in this world, now he's in that world, now he's in that world. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, Zelda, you've got this huge, sprawling, epic That's true. Line. That definitely lends itself to it. I like that. Yeah. That's good. I could see that. I would be okay with Kirby. I'm a huge Kirby yeah. fan. Yep. But we, you know, his story, it is compelling, but it's not mm -hmm. always as compelling. I mean, his very first story was King DDD stole all the right. food. <laughs> simple. Kind of simple, but kind of not. It like, worked for the game. It, it does. It absolutely does. Yeah. I don't know how it would translate. Maybe it would be awesome. We did get inevitably characters like Meta Knight out of it. Mm -hmm. Awesome character. Yeah. I don't know. But I gotta tell you, this guy right here, mm -hmm. this could be an awesome movie. Yeah. Yoshi has come into his own after mm -hmm. Super Mario World. He came into his own, started having his own stories. Yoshi's story itself, while it has a very specific look, mm -hmm. kind of a fun idea. Yes, absolutely. You could do a cool Yoshi you could. story. You really could. You could. And then let us also not, also not discount Mega Man. Yes. Mega Man is this bizarre property which Nintendo has access to, but isn't doing a whole lot with yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. We've seen him finally get into Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe they could work out something with that. I don't really know a whole lot about the properties and who's actually holding the rights to Mega Man. Right, that's a good point. But, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could definitely see that. That's yeah. another one, though, where it's a pretty straight shot, like, a uh, straight shot story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't but know. But, like, the sheer amount of characters, like, that he, you know... Yeah, comes well, that might be overwhelming. It might be. So, I mean, like, like honestly, the easiest one mm -hmm. is... Yeah. Zelda. Yeah, Zelda, I feel like Zelda's kind of like a no-brainer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if they really want to kind of like start, if they want to start safe, that would be the safe Yeah. One. If they want to do something a little bit more like adventurous, you know, not, you know, like yeah. that would be one of those. Yeah. I think. If they want to do something esoteric, they would do Earthbound. Because yes. Earthbound, again, it's a straight, it's a story. There's yeah. a story oh, there. Oh, yeah. It's Absolutely. about a kid. It's relatable to children. Mm -hmm. People who know the franchise from back in the day, there's the nostalgia factor there. Yep. But it's not quite as well known. I mean, granted, Ness yeah. and Lucas are huge characters yes. in Smash Brothers. And I gotta tell you, anyone who can play those characters and play them well, my hat off to you. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. Because Almost. I can't I can't do that PK. No. No. No, that's not me. It. I'm not that guy. I don't know how to do that. Yes. No. I can't. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but that's not, it is kind of known, mm -hmm. but the game itself, the storyline itself is less well known. So I don't yes. really know. I would say it's more like a cult classic. Those it games. is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's interesting they said not Super Mario. Yeah. But not Super Mario Brothers. True. They could do a Luigi movie. They could. I don't, I don't know how that would go. I mean, they could just do Luigi's Mansion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be fun. That'd right? Be fun. Yeah. What? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> maybe they'll, they'll do Mario Kart the game, <laughs> where they're racing for their lives. They'll do, oh, they'll do Mario is missing, and then <laughs> there you that, go. Was, that was an educational game though, so I don't know. If yeah, I don't know. It's gonna, I don't know. Yeah. Um, there's also the F Zero series. Mm. Granted, that's based around racing, right. so I don't know. But and then work. of course the thing that we did mention earlier, um, which is a game that's coming out this year for them, which is Star Fox. Oh, oh, that that would Star work. Fox. Could work. Absolutely. You get the high flying adventure. You get animal based characters. Mm -hmm. You have incredible nostalgia linked yeah. to it. Yeah. Kids who have no idea what it is are going to be attracted to it because of the fact that there are several characters. Mm -hmm. They have very different looks. Yeah. They are animal based. Yep. It is in space, so you know it's going to yeah. be exciting. It's action. It's space battles. It's, it does, yeah. and it definitely lends itself to the format to Absolutely. CG. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. So oh. that's a, that's a good contender. I'm getting excited now, right? <laughs> right? right. I just pitched you something that's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Nintendo, you gotta do a Star Fox movie. Well, here, here's the thing. Clearly, guys, I think what we're definitely gonna see, mm -hmm. the Bayonetta movie. Of course. Right? That's kid-friendly. Duh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lose all our clothes, hair, gun hair shoes. outfit, yeah. gun shoes. Gun shoes, yeah. Giant, yeah, yeah. 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 Demons, um, you know, inappropriate moves. <laughs> I think it's family friendly. It's a, it's I a think. it's a fun family outing. Yeah, take the kids. Take the kids. Find yeah. some popcorn. <laughs> sit them down. 
Learn the birds and the bees right there. Now, I think seriously, so far, <laughs> the best contenders are Zelda <laughs> yeah. um, and Star Fox. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Anything else that comes to your mind? Um, oh. Now most just pipe dreams. What do you want? I know, I know. I, I kind of want everything. Pokemon is a good one, but Pokemon is not owned by Nintendo. Ah. This Pokemon trading card game came out first, I believe. Gotcha. So yeah. I think whoever created that is the one who has the oh, rights sorry. to that. But it would be interesting to find out if when Nintendo came in to make the games with mm -hmm. them, did they also got, buy the rights for anything else beyond that? Absolutely. Because then who made the cartoon series? That's Do true. they have the rights? Because they also made animated movies. Mm -hmm. So that's the question of who owns the rights to that. Right. But that would be pretty cool. Grant, we did get technically hand-drawn animated movies. Yeah. Like we got cartoon movies out but of that. But it is well known. It is. It is very well yeah. known. Very well known. Yeah. I don't know. Really? That could be kind of cool. Yeah. What about a Paper Mario movie? Paper Mario would be cool. very cool. Mm -hmm. That would be a lot of fun. Um, Paper Mario is an interesting concept in and of itself. Yeah. And I think that would be really fun to see, like, actually in a, in a you know, full out, like, you know, huge big screen thing yeah. where it's like, you have this three-dimensional, you know, technology, but we're going to use it for flat items. Yeah. That's kind of fun. That would be. Like, that's really cool. I can see that. Yeah, especially I, if they, like, switched up between, like, 3D and 2D. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm trying to, um, oh! Oh. You maybe play one of these games. <laughs> what about Castlevania? Oh my god. So yeah. Technically owned by Konami, though. But. Konami. <laughs> Nobody's happy with you right now. I gotta tell you, there's a lot of people out there yeah. who are displeased with your choices as of late. You want to get on everyone's good side. Because I know you're watching. Yeah. Because we all know. Konami's like, you know. Konami's in, in here right now. As soon now. as you mention it, they, if they show up. It's like, yeah, yeah, I just said it too many times. It's like the candy man. Yeah. <laughs> They're there on the chat. Give Nintendo the right to make a Castlevania series. Give Nintendo the right to put Simon Belmont in a Smash game. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I take that. Yeah, that's fine. Just yeah. do that one. I still want to see that because that's, again, good story. Yes. Strong story. Yep. Don't need a lot of locations, clearly, no. based on what I've played. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> simple, so, yeah. Simple. Um, Again, a, an adventure-based sort of It is adventure-based. Fantasy. It's, like, it's less to the younger kids, mm -hmm. but could be scaled down to be, be. like an all-ages kind of epic. Yeah. We've seen Pixar do things that you're like, wow, they're not talking out to kids. Yeah. This could be an yeah. opportunity for something like that. I mean, you really could do it with any of them, but definitely Castlevania is to the darker side of Nintendo, which yeah. I kind of like. That's yeah. fun. That's cool. I appreciate it. Give them any rights to do anything with him. Yeah. Or any of them. A particular him. Do it. That'd be awesome. I want it. Get Dracula in there too. Oh my god. That's Smash Brothers. <laughs> it's a super move. <laughs> he like swoops in. Yeah. And he grabs like one of the characters and just feeds on them. And you're like, oh okay. This is in tests <laughs> didn't really work. Kid little kids were like, did he just did he just eat him? Is he hugging him? No. No. It's not hugging him. That's not what's happening. That's not love coming out. There. No, and then if he does it to Kirby, Kirby <laughs> just shrinks down. Just like this little white balloon. Just <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> not, not gonna. So, how about some things you know we're not gonna see? I know. Um, just thinking of just the Smash roster in right. general that they have access to. Yeah, um, like I we're not gonna see ice climbers. I yeah, and I don't. Or, or how about this? If we are in an ensemble piece, yes, I could see that. Yeah. But it's not gonna be focused on them. No. I don't think we're gonna see a Game and Watch. No movie. I don't <laughs> think we're gonna see a movie starring Rob. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see a movie starring Dr. Mario, either. <laughs> as hilarious as that would be. <laughs> that's what it's... That's it, it. That's it. It's not going to be Super Mario Brothers. It's Mario but deciding it's, to drop, you know, the entire hero thing and become a doctor. That's right. That's right. And he works down the street from Yoshi, who yeah. owns a bakery, where he makes cookies. This movie writes itself. Right? And then, It's a course, journey. It's yeah, a journey. Yeah, and Luigi went into the paranormal business. Yep. It makes sense. This yeah. all works. I, I like this. this is right We're writing the movie now. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Dear Nintendo. Dear Nintendo. <laughs> please don't listen to us. <laughs> um, did, you, did either of you watch Captain N and the Game Master? I never watched yeah. Captain N and the Game Master, but I have heard of it. Mm. I'm surprised you haven't, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I know. I know. What, I know. what, it's a good show. what gives? I don't know. I was watching Mighty Max. I'm, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna see a Mighty Max movie. <laughs> I also. Alright. If we're, gonna, if we're gonna go off tangent here yeah. for a second, yeah. I would do anything to see an updated Mighty Max yes. movie. Or a show. I take a show too. 
No, let's just stick with just, the movie. Just the movie, yeah. Yeah, like you a one shot. Ha- yeah, because I want a beginning, middle, and end. I don't want it to be canceled true. halfway through. Yeah, no, just that's give a good me the point. movie. That's a good that point. would be fine. Yeah. Um, part of me wonders, going back on topic, mm-hmm. if this Nintendo thing not only comes from the success of Pixar and Disney itself, mm-hmm. um, and of course with everything that Disney's been acquiring yeah. and all that. Oh. Yeah. Um, but we have an Assassin's Creed mm-hmm. movie coming out. We have a Warcraft movie coming yes. out. Now, these are definitely geared more towards adults. Mm-hmm. People are very excited about them. People are on board. Yep. Look at the comic book industry and where it went from movie-wise to where it is now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that Nintendo's looking at the scope and like the change in climate overall in cinema, and they're mm-hmm. like, all right, maybe. This is the time. Yeah. Yes, why not? <laughs> Let's get into here, too. Right? And who yeah. knows? We could, be, we could be just around the corner from a Final Fantasy game. Oh. <laughs> or a movie. Yeah. Not game. Another they one. probably do seven. Probably. Yeah, they probably. Made, they made those like two. Did, 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 no, I want like live action. Oh. What about like something like Spirits Within? All right, they did Spirits Within. Yeah. I want it based off of one of the games. Yeah. Don't make don't make a Final Fantasy movie that's just technically another game, but it's not a game. Yeah. All right, they make a Mario movie. Where are you? Or Bowser's the villain. <sighs> Bowser. Bowser's a better villain for the first one. Yeah. It's classic. Wario himself, though, Mm -hmm. I think his plans are better because he just hates Mario. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's not helping on, like, kidnapping anybody. Yeah, I mean, like, technically, if you change Bowser's kind of, like, if you, how about this, if you grow on what Bowser wants, it's not just taking Princess Peach, it's actually just, just make it about ruling the Mushroom Kingdom. If you just make it that, Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good villain. Yeah. It's a good villain. Don't put in all the kids. (laughs) Put in some of the kids. Yeah. One or two. Like a cameo. A cam- A couple of kids. Yeah. That's it. But that's kind of that's it. All you need. <laughs> but yeah, I, I for me, out of the gate, Bowser would be the way to go. Yeah. I could definitely see Wario in a sequel though. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Six golden coins. <laughs> it's gotta fight the bird and the witch. <laughs> People are like, What is this? I'm like, this is awesome! <laughs> this is the end of the movies. Um and obviously for a Zelda movie. It would be the moon. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great story. Like no, it, but it would be yeah. it would be Ganon. Yeah. It, it would be the Ganon that everyone knows now. Yeah, so technically Ganondorf. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I don't think we would get Pig Ganon. Oh, that'd be great though. <laughs> People would be like, I don't understand. I don't think we're going to get, I think we're going to get him as a, as a dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what everyone kind of has grown to understand. Yeah. That's who he is. Yep. Um, I Which don't, is fair. I don't think we're going to get Majora's Mask. <laughs> I don't like that's yeah. an awesome story, yeah, but, but I don't think we're gonna get that because that's confusing as hell. It is. It there's is. too much time travel in that. Yeah. No. Which absolutely. is funny because there's another Zelda game called The Ocarina of Time. Which is yeah. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what the problem with those those two games and in, in converting them into a movie is just it's too. Those are too, like specific based on like game mechanics. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really... Yeah, and the first one, you could probably pull a story out of that. Yeah. You could probably pull something out of that and and it would just look like nothing you've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like... I would would say between the two, I guess, over in a time would be a little bit easier. Because you've got, you've got the main thing, which is like, you know, the moon, the world's gonna end in three days, so there's, you know, there's, there's your conflict right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With Majora's Mask, it's kind of like a little... All over Wait, the I place. thought Majora's Mask was the one with the moon. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm like, don't confuse me! Wait a minute. It doesn't right. take much. Well, they technically both have masks, which doesn't really help, but yeah. Really, all right, yeah. well, anyway. But Majora's has more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strong story there, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but I would they, say definitely the time travel. Right. I mean, they both have time travel. It's yes. True. Um, that one is one, though, where there's so many different incarnations of the character. Yes. I think that we might see some struggling with what to choose. Because yeah. there are fans of Toon Link, there are fans of the DS games, there are yeah. fans of the retro games, there are fans yeah. of the new games. Yeah. What do you pick? What story elements do you bring in? Mm-hmm. Will it get too garbled in yeah. translation? Or do they create a total, they're like, this has nothing to do with the games? Mm-hmm. This Link is wholly different. Yes. Yeah, that could... I like, mean, that do they work. do that? that like, like, for the most part, I mean, Mario does have a lot of different storylines, mm-hmm. but they kind of all follow the same formula except yeah. when they got to Mario Galaxy which I don't think they're gonna do yeah. um I mean that's cool but I don't I don't see that as being their the big space movie that they yeah. want to <laughs> they true. have two other franchises <laughs> that take place in space yeah. which I think that they would be much more comfortable using um but with Zelda 
so many stories, so many people love them. So many different versions of the characters yeah. that they say are different. Yeah. You know I mean, they don't which, all yeah. exist. Which kind of, like, makes you wonder if they decided to do a live version. That would be tricky, because everyone's got, like, sort of a vision of what Zelda looks like, sounds like, and stuff. Yeah. And then trying to find an actor to pull that off. Yeah. Like, yeah. do they do a Link that's young? Do they do a Link that's older? Yeah. Do they, like, where... Yeah. Like, is it an adult man? Is it, like... Entice, where do you, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Which is luckily they're not doing the live action, which I think is smart, but right. still that varies so much. With Mario, yeah. he has a look. You know what he looks like. Yes. Regardless of 2D, mm -hmm. 3D, you know, if he's a doctor or not, like, it's, he still, looks it's like still Mario. Mario. Yeah. Um, at the yeah. end of the day, same thing with Kirby, same yep. thing with Samus, same mm -hmm. thing with Star Fox. What about Donkey Kong? How could we forget him? Thank you, guys. Because I know you're a fan of Donkey yes, Kong. Yes, I am. How do they make that into a movie? Oh, uh, I mean, well, okay. You've got the, the conflict of, you know, his banana horde getting stolen or, like, something happening with his family because he's got, there's a million Kongs, you know, like, you know, part of his family and stuff like that, so you could do something there. Um, and just him, like, you know, either going out on an adventure or, or, you know, something happens to him. Now his family's got to, you know, gather together and go save him. Like, he doesn't necessarily technically have to be the the main character, the hero that you're following. So there's there's a lot of possibilities you could do with Donkey Kong. That's neat. Yeah. I mean, like, and Donkey Kong, again, lends itself to the all-ages aspect. Yep. You got monkeys, kids like that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny to me, because, okay, tangent for a second, guys. Mm -hmm. Donkey Kong is a gorilla, yes. right? Diddy Kong is what? An ape monkey? Not related, but yet still related? <laughs> Wait, what is his relation to Donkey Kong exactly? Nephew, I think, if okay. I remember correctly. Um, what happened there? I don't know. How does this work? I don't know. It's, it's a weird universe. There's there's giant crocodiles. So I mean, I I have no idea. It doesn't make it doesn't make Just no sense. To figure that out. How? Yeah, I don't. Stop <laughs> breathing. It's hot. <laughs> That's but like I didn't even think That's about the fact though. that he has a, a huge family. Yeah. Um. The franchising on that alone. I mean, like, just the merchandising, I should say, on that. <laughs> All huge. the toys, the plushies, uh, the shirts, the yep. everything. There's a character for everyone, from the old to the young, because there's an old one, isn't yes. there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. So, so even grandma and grandpa will have someone they can, you know, relate to in yeah. the Donkey Kong movie. There's someone in there for <laughs> everyone. That's cool. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could see them doing something like that, especially mm -hmm. first time out, not really, like, knowing the mm -hmm. fact, I mean, like... Nintendo has a wide pantheon of characters. Yes. Some of them more well known than others. Some of them are ones that you can't ever not know. Like yeah. you know, anyone most people from all over the world would know who Mario is. Yeah. Donkey Kong, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yoshi, I don't know. Samus, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It kind like of degrades us. But for the audience they're going for, everything pretty much everything that we've mentioned so far has appeal yeah. to people. Like mass appeal. Mm -hmm. And We've been all kind of waiting for this for so long. Yeah. And, you know, I do partially appreciate Nintendo's holding back. Like, yeah. I, I get it. They didn't want to just rush into it. And yeah. now they've kind of waited to a point where everything looks good. Mm -hmm. That it's, like, it has to look good, right, guys? <laughs> right? I... Don't bone this up. <laughs> I think even with, like, the... I think we're at the point now where even, like, the simplest kind of setup would still look yeah. really good. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's true. Um, it's interesting, though. Nintendo is one of the, you know, big gaming companies. And by, and by big gaming companies, I mean, like, you have to look at Sony, mm -hmm. okay? You know, they are so big, and they do so many things. And they have access to a movie studio right there. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, Microsoft... Not really, but they do. You know what I mean? They have, like... They're Microsoft. Yeah. So They, they also do a lot of other things. Nintendo is really a gaming company through and through. Yeah, always has been. For them to take on something like this and to say that they want to do as much as possible is mm -hmm. kind of ambitious. It is. You know, I mean, like, they are consistent in what they do. They are never quite as cutting edge as the other two are. Yeah. Or tend to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Nintendo definitely has the stigma of being a family-friendly company, which I don't mm -hmm. think is bad. Yeah. But because of that, like, not everyone's always scrambling to get the next yeah. Nintendo console. Yeah. Not the same for the DS. The DS is totally different. It's one of the best handheld games, or handheld gaming systems out there. Um, so they're very lucky to have that. Yeah. Um, and they do innovate. Mm -hmm. But the other things that they're doing, they're, you know, they're, very, they're just self-contained. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's a smart choice mm -hmm. to do CG. 
it's a smart choice to say that they want to help out as much as possible, but we know in the end they're going to have to partner with someone. Yeah. Someone's going to have to help them to put this whole thing together. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to, like, what makes a good game doesn't always make a good movie. Yes. So my hope would be that they would bring in, like, people who've worked at Pixar, hopefully. People who yeah. worked on, like, Wreck-It Ralph. Bring them in. Bring the writers in. Mm -hmm. Bring in some of the producers and directors to, at the very least, assist or yeah, help to, advice. like, the creative, like, you know, yeah. process. Yeah. Tell because, them. like I said, like, you know, you know, part of what makes a game so engaging and so fun is the individual's experience. Mm -hmm. You know, there are games out there now where um, there's, you know, it's, it's more plot-driven, it's really yeah. just a story and that's it. Mm -hmm. So kind of everyone's going to have a very similar experience, but there's something to be, to be said about the way that you play through a Mario board or, like, yeah. your tactic in, like, a Metroid yeah. game or in Star Fox or, you know what I mean, just the emotional attachment you have to a character or yeah. in a game where you can choose a character who you end up being. Right. You can't do that in the movie. No. And Nintendo knows how to write games. They know how to do that. The question's going to be, do they do it alone? Are they going to just write a script and be like, here's my movie script. Let's make it. Yeah. Or are they going to bring in, like, people from Pixar who are going to be like, okay, this is a great start, guys. Yeah. But. This is going to make a great game. Yeah, it's going to be a great yeah. game. But we're going we're gonna to take a couple things. <laughs> we're just going to, we're not going to, no, we're not, we can't do it. No, 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 no. We're just going to take Shredder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. I got five pages left. We're going to go from there. Like, um, and it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I feel, for me, this feels like a project where they seemingly can't fail, and yet I know they I could. Know. <laughs> yeah, I want to say, like, like they're, they're, you know. There's no way you can fail at this, because no. people want it. I, I, I'm desperate to see this. Yeah. I really want to see it. The market's there. The market is there. People care. Like, you have enough people who are alive, and who have money, yeah. and who want to spend it, yep. who, like, remember the days of yeah. the NES, and they want to see these characters yeah. brought to life. And then you have this whole new generation, all the generations in between, who have been playing these characters at different stages in their lives. Yep. And yet at the same time, I know they inevitably could fuck this up. Yeah, they could. And that's what's so sad. I know. The fact yeah. that they are moving it through this slowly. Mm -hmm. The fact that no one has said the word Yui Bowl is great. <laughs> um, He's that's... not allowed. He's not allowed in the building. No. Is it? No. No. That would be... What about Duck Hunt? <laughs> Duck Hunt the game or the movie? Yeah. They were, they could do those a short at the yes. beginning. Duck that, Hunt a short at the I beginning. Mean. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be. I would love to see that if they did like the Pixar esque shorts at the beginning. Yeah. Do yeah. do games at the like at the beginning of these little shorts that could make a whole movie. Yeah. Just a little sample. Yeah. A little perfect. something that would be awesome. I could definitely see a Duck Hunt short. I don't know how to make a Duck Duck Hunt work because I hate that dog so much. I don't think I could sit through the, like at least 90 minutes of yeah, that dog. Of that dog. <laughs> the dog is laughing at me. He's laughing at me, everyone. <laughs> Specifically me. Like, no. Not you. <laughs> me. Me. Because I suck at duck hunt. You're just screaming at the screen. Yeah! <laughs> same thing for Toad. Yeah. Because Toad Toad's has, forever. yeah, Captain Toad's Treasure Trial True. is a great game. Yeah. And that in and of itself could be shorts. Mm. Little shorts of Toad, like, exploring areas and, like, you know, finding treasures yeah. and, like, defeating enemies is no way. He can't jump, so. No. <laughs> no. Um, but that would be awesome. Yeah. You could do the same. You could do a short of Mario Kart. You could. You could do a short of, of, of Brawl. Yes. That's only if you want to bring the universes together. Because they may not want to do that. They might want to withhold that. Mm. What if they do a oh. Marvel-esque thing? Yeah. Right? Yep. Where they build up each of these movies. Each yep. of these franchises. We get a Kirby movie. We get a Donkey Kong. We yep. get Star Fox. We get Metroid. We get Super Mario Brothers. And, and then... then and then we get a Brawl movie. Or Smash Brothers movie, I should say. I'd be right? Where they all come together because there's this big bad and yeah. they got to work together. To defeat them. Yeah. <sighs> they don't actually really fight each other too much except for when they first meet. Yes. Yeah. Until they figure out what's going on. The hand. There's that hand that's the invisible yeah. force. Yeah. That's you could make that into a bad guy. Oh, absolutely. You that could, could, be you could do that. That could, that could be, be anything. That yeah. could be anyone. That could be something brand new. They could totally make it up. I don't care. But could you imagine, yeah. like, a, a Marvel Phase 1 yeah. ass plan oh. from Nintendo? <sighs> Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of red letters to write, guys. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that's exhausting. Yeah. That would, oh, that'd be brilliant. That, right? would be, that would be brilliant. And it gives you an opportunity in a, in a like, 
entourage or not entourage, on, ensemble esque movie like mm. that to introduce characters who you didn't want to give your own movie yes. to. So yep. you could still put the Earthbound kids in, yep. and if they do really well, people are popular. Then you see an Earthbound movie spin out of it. Ta-da! We're just printing money. Come on, zip. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I really want that. <laughs> I want that too. I want that so yeah. badly now. Uh. I want to see them all like meeting up for the first time, yeah. like some cross-dimensional rift-esque kind of thing happens. Oh, where they, they all get like plucked out of their right, universes. like it's a contest of champions-esque thing from yeah. Marvel, and oh yep. my god, and they have to fight and uh, stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then they're like, "Whoa, whoa, what are we doing here?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they realize that there's you know there's, there's something, something greater. Yeah. Going exactly. On. And yeah. if they don't stop it, each of their worlds will be destroyed. Yeah. Well, this is it. If this doesn't happen, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. I'm sorry to tell you. You're going to be extremely disappointed. Like... <laughs> and then right at the end of the movie, yeah. after they all won, Simon Belmont shows up and he's like, whoosh. Did I miss it? Yeah. <laughs> the screen goes black. You just hear, whoosh. Yeah. And then bats. Yeah. Like, <gasps> that's it. Yep. Yeah. That's the end of it. Yeah. And then that's it. They go bankrupt and... <laughs> They spent all this money. There's rumors of a Tetris movie. Thoughts? <laughs> okay. The real one. Okay. You are the flat piece. Uh, you are the most desired. <laughs> You're the long yeah. piece of the most desired piece. Okay, hang on. If the Tetris movie is aliens from outer space coming, and they come in tetramino okay. shaped ships, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but. But if they do something else more creative with it, that could be kind of cool. How? Okay, like, yeah. um, well, <laughs> let's make it some little retro here where okay. there's like a crazy computer virus and uh, like it takes the form of Tetris <laughs> and it's gonna shut down all the world's computers <laughs> unless one kid <laughs> who's the best Tetris player ever <laughs> can beat it at his own game. Yeah. I don't want that either. <laughs> So it's like war games and then Tetris. Yeah. yeah that's pixels. a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. It's exactly exactly really awful. Happen. That's that's it's, I put it out in the universe now, so it's gonna, gonna happen. That's gonna happen, yeah. Um I like look, I get it. You know, it's a it's a, it's an odd thing to make a thing out of a movie out of they yeah. made a battleship movie. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so it might be something that just kinda takes the hints of Tetris but then puts it like in a whole other... I just I I I find it hard to come up, like, to think of something that really works in yeah. a way that I could take seriously. Now, if it's supposed to be something very tongue-in-cheek... That could work. And they admit it, yeah. and that's what they're going for, that could be kind of fun. Yeah. If someone comes out with something that is, like, like mind-blowing, like a super serious Tetris movie, <laughs> and it's like, I will be, I'll be, I will be there. Yeah. I will see that. <laughs> I liked Tetris. Yeah, but it has to look like Tron. The first one or the second one? Wait. The second one. For the serious one? Yeah. Okay. For the tongue-in-cheek one? The first one. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because stuff already in there kind of look like... Oh my god. It'll be like, it would be like... You could make it like Tron, where they go into Tetris, and you only hear three songs the whole time <laughs> you're there, and it's maddening. And you can't switch them. No. No. It's just locations. It changes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And everyone in the, the who lives in those areas, like, you know, their personalities are affected by the music. Yeah. So, like, in the first one, they're really happy and upbeat. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, the, like, what is it, C? That's, like, it's the what, really mellow one. With the yep. harpsichord yep. kind of thing. They're all, like, really, like, posh. And, but uh, this is, these, it's, see, do you see what I mean? This just, it doesn't work it's for hard. me. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. T Tetris, to me, is, like, a cameo in another movie. How? Again. No, it would be like... Oh, like someone's playing. Like, yeah, or no, you would see it. You would see it in, like, a universe somewhere, okay. and you're like, oh, there's Tetris, haha, -ha, yeah. move on. Exactly. You know I, mean? I mean, like, you could you could do that with, like, you know, what is it? Asteroid or Centipede, or which yeah. one is it? Well, the... What are you... Like, the ships. Oh, that's uh, Asteroid. No, I did say Asteroid. Okay, I said that. Or uh -huh. Missile Command, you know, like any of those. No, why not Missile Command? Yeah. <laughs> you could do it with that. That way it's actually ships, but that's what yeah. Pixels did, and that was stupid. Yeah. But that's because Adam Sandler was in it. I didn't see it. I gotta tell you, nice. I'm judging it. I didn't see it. It sucks. Yeah, but I hear it. I, sucks. I think you can judge. I, it. I feel like I can. It just what I really I couldn't handle seeing it, and then marring things that. Were, <sighs> yeah, no, 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 no. Bad. Um, bad but yeah, like I said, if someone pitches a really good Tetris movie, mm -hmm. I would see it. Yeah, but as of right now, I can't. I can't conceive of something yeah. that works. I can't. I can't. No. Now, if there was like, if like it was now. 
barring my feelings on the world's end, um, if there was an Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost written Tetris movie, I'd, I might go see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I trust them. I do. silly and fun. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. Um, any, like, all right, now outside of Nintendo, mm -hmm. if you could see any, if there was a video game property that you want made into a movie. It could be from any point in time, from, like, the very beginnings of video games to today. Oh. Um, does it have to be all ages? Or? Yeah, you can be whatever you want. Anything I want. Oh. <laughs> There's, like, way too many things. Um, oh, that's tough. I would, I would love to see a Devil May Cry movie. That would be cool! Because, like... But get... original Dante, not the new Dante. She was the first one. Red coat Dante. On All that right, one. I can see um, that. I think that would be pretty epic. And then you make the Bayonetta movie, and they cross over. Again, it just writes itself. It's hot. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is literally hot. Yeah. Um. Oh, what else? What else? I know what mine is. Go ahead. I would love to see. We skip two. But I'd love to see a Bioshock movie. Yes. You could do you could do the first one, or you could do Infinite. I'd rather mm -hmm. see the first one because I like that dark yeah. horror element to it. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that. I think that okay, there is the element of the way I played the game, the plasmids I took, the way I explored the world that mm -hmm. will not be captured. But I think the storyline is strong enough to carry itself as a movie all on its own. Yeah, I agree. So I'd love to see that. And the music is awesome in that yeah. game. When are we gonna get the awesome. Halo movie? Yeah, when are we gonna get the Halo movie? Come on! <laughs> Master Chief's voice is gonna die someday. We just need the voice! Yeah! He could be anyone in that suit, I don't freaking care! I know! I just need the voice! It's so simple! Did you see the Halo DVD movie? I think I saw a little bit of it. Was it good? From what you saw? Yeah. But I still, I want like... I want big production, I yeah. want big screen, I want big recognition, I want to go into the theater and I want to hear the Halo suite booming yeah. at me. Yeah. Like, now, live action or CG? Yeah, live action. action? Okay. With CG. Yeah. But I want yeah. a live action, I want explosions, yeah. I want dirt flying in people's faces. Epic. Cortana can be CG. Yeah. You just get her voice too. That's the two fine. most recognizable voices from the game are things that you don't have to have the actual actress for. Nope. It's awesome. Yeah. It's perfect. It's right? perfect. It's right? Yeah. And you can do it as grand or small as you want. Yes, Halo is very grand, and yes, we'd have to see the Halo at mm -hmm. some point. And you'd have to see some space battles, but a lot of what he does is ground fighting. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, you could you could do it. Yeah, yeah it'd be a significant budget, yeah. but you could still do it. Yeah. I want to hear the Halo Suite in the movie theater. Come on. <sighs> I want John Williams to come in and play the Halo Suite. Right? Now imagine but like, it'll change like it. the no, weapons, like, you know, right? going off and, uh, yeah. the big... You know, yeah. Machines and I and don't like, look. I don't want them to do what they did with Doom, the movie, where then we go into that was fun because it was a relief from how terrible that movie was yeah. when we went into the first person mode. And yeah. It was like, oh, okay. Oh, at least there's Doom. this, right? Thank yeah. you. I don't know. Don't put that into the Halo movie. No. Actually, don't put that into any of the movies we've mentioned. <laughs> don't don't do that. It's not good. You know, the movie what? should be good enough to stand on its own without having to go into first person mode. You know what? Like pipe mode, where you jump into the pipe and you're just going along. Well, now I do. <laughs> I also want Nintendo-based theme parks. Yeah. yeah. Pair up with Disney and give me a Nintendo world in Disney. I want the happiest place on Earth to take the Imagineers and work with the people at Nintendo oh, yeah. and create the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. I'll just take that. Yep. I'd be happy with that. Think about it. Yeah. You could have a like, yeah. You could have like a pipe roller coaster, or it could be like a log flume. Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say it'd be great for a water park. If you wait, but if you do it as a roller coaster, if you do the pipe as a roller coaster, you yeah. can start like above ground and then like oh. go like underground, but not really. <gasps> yeah. So like you're like, yep. Oh. Come on. Oh. You're not gonna get that. I know. <laughs> and you still get the princesses. Yeah. You do. You do. And, and you could still. Oh my god! And they could introduce go karting into Disney, and you'd be like Mario Kart. Uh, and there's so many worlds, too, that you can, like, incorporate and stuff like that. I know! And they could even call each of the areas in the park, mm -hmm. like, you know, 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's so cool. Uh, that's so cool! That would be. Right? Yeah. Oh my god! If they wanted to go so far, because they'd have to pick a look mm -hmm. from one of the games. They or would. you could mix and match. Yeah, I was I was imagining, like, you know, like a Mario 1, like, pixelated, right? you know, kind of right? stuff. Right? And then... Yeah. And then they probably skip two, I gotta tell you. That's fair. 
They probably would. It's so it's so different. They probably would be like, just be like, no, I don't think so. They'd probably be like little hints every once in a while that only like a like a fan yeah. of the game would be like, really, oh, that's... oh, Birdo. Yeah. <laughs> that would it. That would be it. Birdo would. That would that would cross but, over. But, that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah. We don't need her in the movie. I'm sorry, Birdo fans. We gotta have a Birdo movie. No, it's no, <laughs> we don't. That's the most bizarre character. I don't and, ever and get into a rocket ship. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you're pulling up turnips and yeah. stuff. For the kids, you could do Super Mario World and they could ride on Yoshi. Aww, oh, yep. Right? It's like a double or, ride, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or you could have, like, um, like Yoshi's egg carts. Oh, or, like, egg yeah. carts where you, like, spin. It's like teacups, yeah. but you're in, like, one of his eggs and they're yep. all different colors because of yeah. Yoshi's story. Right? Guys, it's so simple. Make the deal with Disney. Just do it. Disney, you got, like, a, like, you got like a billion dollars. You got more money than God. Yeah. They can blink and just make it. Just like, go over there. It. Just go over there and be like, hey. Let's do it. Come on. This is like... If you like kids... We like kids in in the safe and totally yeah. yes. rated way. Come on. Just a love of children and... Yeah. yeah. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever has it, um, Universal might be working with Nintendo on like a park or something. Or park-esque rides. I'll take it. I'd really rather have Disney. Yeah. Look, I know, I, feel... I know Disney doesn't have the best scruples sometimes. And I know Disney owns a lot of things. But for my park going experience, those guys go by balls to the walls. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like, like they're gonna been... do it right. Yeah. Yeah. Like they'll tear something down yeah. and just build a whole like experience. And that's what I want. I want an experience. Yeah. Now I know Universal did do Harry Potter, so they are upping their game, so that is important. Yeah. And they might be doing that maybe because of the fact that inevitably they will lose probably the rights to Marvel stuff. Yeah. Being in their theme parks. Yeah. So it could be important to them. But they gotta do it right. It has to be a oh, full yeah. on experience. Like, that's what I, the games are. They're yeah. an experience. I wanna go there and I wanna not just be like, oh, there's a Mario ride. There's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want it to be like, there's the Superman roller coaster. I'm not really in Metropolis. Yeah. Yep. Just there's the roller it's coaster. Just, it's just theme. Yeah. That's it. But again, the Harry Potter world, my understanding, I haven't been, but my understanding is it is more of an experience. It yeah. is something that they definitely try to, you know, make more encompassing. Mm hmm. Which is, I guess, easier if you've got more of a world to work with. Like, the no, Harry Potter true. world is, like, vast it's and you've got a lot of stuff. It's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah, the room, uh, yeah. Because they have to get rid of all the Marvel rides. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. So that makes sense. Like, yeah. they gotta fill something. Yeah. D just do Sonic the Hedgehog. That fits them with their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stand on a platform and then it just runs you through. Yeah. Yeah, you're on individual carts, essentially, yeah. and, like, they strap you into this thing. Yeah, and so it's, you're like, it's you the, can't move. Yeah, but... it's the fastest ro roller coaster in the world. <sighs> And you get smacked in the face. They put a VR thing on you. So it's like you're in the game. Like you're inside of the Hedgehog and you're yeah. just being smacked in the face with rings. I like it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I, like I don't see lawsuits at all. This is... This yeah, well, okay. Maybe it doesn't have to be that fast. Yeah. Because I think the VR would help. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? But like... Oh, no. I want it to be that fast. I want this just to be completely ridiculous. I'm never building a theme park with you. I just want to put that out oh, there. It's to fly off. I don't want... It's so fast. I don't want... I <laughs> No, <laughs> they'll just heave and it'll all fly up into the VR. You know how much money we're going to lose? That's so bad. <laughs> we're not doing that. It's like Ro Roller Coaster Tycoon. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's fun. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. All right. Forget the, the Sonic thing. That's not going to work. It's not going to... Not with me at the helm. It's no. not gonna... yeah. You're fine. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Daniel. Let's just... I take my charts down and I'm like... Yeah. I'll get someone else to build them. <laughs> I'm going to Disney. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they can have they can have a power glove esque thing. <laughs> oh. It'll sometimes work, but not really. But yeah. you'll feel really cool, but not really. But not at all. Yeah. Like you look at pictures of yourself. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell am I doing with what, this thing on? <laughs> Why did I buy I'm this? I'm controlling the future. The thing was impossible to use. But anyway. But so, yeah, but I would like that. Yeah. I'd take it. I'd still take it. I still would take a universal theme park of Nintendo Mario stuff. Yeah. That would be fine. Yeah. That would be interesting, too, if they're looking to work with Disney or Pixar when it comes to movies. Is Disney and Pixar going to have an issue with that? That's true. Like, are they going to be like, I don't really care. Mm -hmm. I just want to make your movies because I know that that's going to make money and then we can sell your merch in our Disney stores that don't really exist in the area anymore. Um, or are they going to be like, if you're going to go with us, it's either everything or nothing. Yeah. Which I can see them doing. You don't, know? Yeah, like if they want to control it, well, I mean, control it to an extent. Then, well, they would, and like, I don't blame them for being like, we could make a kick-ass, oh, yeah. like Mario or Nintendo world. And they could. I know they could. Yeah, it'd be really cool. It would be really cool. 
I'd, let's, I'd also go on a Samus ride. Or a Star <gasps> Fox ride. Oh, like, yeah, you get in the ship and then you're, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're in your own. Well, game. they could do one of those um, where it's not really doing anything, mm -hmm. but, like, you get that full-on experience. Oh, like yeah. Star Tours. Yeah, like Star Tours, exactly. Or the um, space one, which I can never remember. Space Mountain? No, it's not Space Mountain. It's the one where it's a, it's a Gravitron, essentially. Like, where oh. it's a centrifuge as you're in. Right. And the kid died. Yeah. But then they made, like, one that was slower and mm -hmm. it was less extreme. I wanted the extreme one. It was awesome. Yeah. Where you get that feeling of weightlessness yeah, and, like, yeah. that'd be cool. And you're in a battle and you gotta do things. Yeah. And, like, you know, and you can... Slippy pops up and... <laughs> you could feel like you're doing a barrel roll, but you're yeah. not actually doing a barrel roll. After someone yells at you a bunch of times to, to do, do one. <laughs> to do <laughs> said barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah. You could let Slippy die if you wanted to. Yeah, you know? he's there and you're like, I gotta push this button. I'm not gonna push this button. I'm like, it's blinking green. His health's going down. He's like, Fox, you gotta help me. I'm like, nope, save yourself. Huh? <laughs> you, they, they can't control it, though. You just, you just explode. Yeah. You're just like, oh, yeah. Shame. And then at the end, everyone everyone else saved Slippy except for you. Yeah, yeah. That's and they right. just show everybody's, like, scores. They're like, <laughs> you like, let Slippy die. Everyone like, else saved Slippy. You're like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. He, I, he flew in front of my, you know, my... Thing, and I was shooting. Yeah. And I like, didn't stop shooting. Time. I know. Once I got locked onto him, and then I flew after him. <laughs> and I followed him. Yeah. And then I dogfighted with him. Yeah. Um, and then I forced him into another ship. Yeah. And then I flew away. Yeah. And then the last thing I knew, he was crashing on. And then he plane. ejected. He was in his pod. And I, I guess I hit the the missile button instead of. Yeah. The, just set on a the, bomb. the you know the lifeline there. It was. Oops. I don't you really know what happened. Battle crazy. Crazy. Yeah, makes you just, crazy. I don't know. You just. Anyway, we'll just let the widow Slippy know that uh, he's not coming home. <laughs> All those little tadpoles. <laughs> oh, good fatherless. <laughs> God, I hate Slippy. So, okay. <laughs> I think, uh, how long have we been going? About 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, no. An hour. Oh, that's okay. It. That's, that's, that's it. We gotta wrap up at this point. Any Sweet. other thoughts on this whole... Thing. I'm I'm excited. I'm still kind of nervous because I, I love all the franchises and everything like that. But I think I, I agree. It's a great move. I think it's a great time for them to do it with like the technology and they've got like you know they have a huge fan base. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're gonna put this out and nobody's gonna go see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like I think yeah, now is the time. Yeah. I agree. What um do you think that the upcoming Ratchet and Clank movie that is literally coming out soon? Yeah. Is yeah. going to help. Uh, the Ratchet and Clank and the Assassin's Creed movies are gonna fit, are gonna help resolve the video game movie problem we have. I don't. Here's the thing. My philosophy on this whole video game problem, movie problem <coughs> thing is, and it's always been my thing, is that video games themselves are a wholly different experience from a movie. They both can yeah. be equally good, but you, as a fan of a, a video game. Much like being a fan of a book, but with the book, you pretty much all have the same experience. Mm -hmm. you, you may have different attachments to different characters, yeah. and you may hear them differently. Right. But with a video game, you literally will probably never do anything quite the same way that another player did. Yeah. You won't necessarily make the same choices that another player did. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of times, personally for me, when there's something that I'm attached to... Mm -hmm. um, okay. We can't use the Silent Hill movies as, as an example for this, because they completely yeah. changed everything about it. Um... But something like the Assassin's Creed movies, look, if they focus more on the story, mm -hmm. it could work. They have, yeah. a they have a strong story there. It's yeah. a strong story. If they stick with it, it could be awesome. Mm -hmm. But it's never going to be what you played, and no. that's okay. And that's what I think we as fans have to get over, because I can't. I really yeah. struggle with that. Because I play a video game because I want that. I want that, yeah. like... You know, I am destined to do certain things unless you're playing an open world game like Fallout or right. Morrowind. Yeah. yeah. Um, but inevitably, in order to complete the game, you have to do certain things. Yeah. Um, whether or not you succeed or fail, that often changes or whatever, but those actions still have to happen. Yeah. To some degree. Um, and I struggle with the fact that the choices I make may not reflect in the movie. Yeah. And I have to get over that and just accept the fact that they're going to take a story and they have to—they're going to have to change things yeah. to change the format because yeah. things aren't always going to work in that and manner. And I'd say certain ones are like or, or more hard suited. or impossible yeah. to adapt. But I think I think Assassin's Creed is a pretty good choice, yeah. much like Warcraft. I thought was a pretty good choice yeah. because they have long lore yeah. and that's what they're pulling on. They're making a fantasy 
movie out of just the lore, mm -hmm. not the, you know, <laughs> not necessarily the battlegrounds or the I, you know, like how to go and like do an escort quest right, or a collection, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be about that, which I think is, is, is cool mm -hmm. because, you know, the Warcraft games, World of Warcraft, Warcraft itself, yeah. um, most of the stuff that Blizzard does, they do it in a way where there's so much you could learn, so much you could read. I almost never do, I'm not gonna lie. There's books out there. And not just like books and libraries, I mean in the games themselves. Yeah, there's things. Yeah, there's so much. We will be playing Diablo, something's literally reading it to me. I'm not listening. <laughs> You're not killing that thing. I, I don't have to do anything yeah. to find out about this. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> But I know that that's what the game is gonna, or the yeah. movie's gonna be based on, is the lore. Which is good. So as long as they don't screw the lore up, I think that's fine. Yeah. I think it's important too for the video game company and the people who created the game to be involved in the making of the movie. Yeah. They have to have some control. They have to have some input, guys. Yeah. If you're making, if you're a movie studio and you're approaching and picking up a video game property and you want to do it, bring in the, if they're still around, yeah. bring in the people who helped to write it. Yep. Bring in the people who helped to like you know. You know, just oversee the whole project to, to figure out why you made certain choices. What was actually important? Mm -hmm. What feedback did you get from fans? Yeah. What ended up being the, the big takeaway from the yeah. game? Bring them in. You know, I honestly, like, with Ratchet and Clank, our first experience with Ratchet and Clank was the wrong game to yeah. be. Yeah. It's like... Don't worry, the movie came out in April and it got a... <clears throat> it bombed big time. Well, that's why I didn't hear about it. I was not going to... Well, I was going to say, I wasn't going to see it because for me, the Ratchet and Clank movie to make was the one that we yeah. played, which was... I never remember the name of it. It's... Oh, it's not Deathmatch. It's... But it is something like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's the um, Gladiator one. It's the one where you got the collars on yeah. and you got to, like, fight, you yeah. know, in these, like, death arenas. Yeah, basically. Which I know is not really, like... Dead there there you go. There we go. Um, which is not necessarily, like, the true spirit, in a sense, but, yeah. like... That to me would make a kick-ass movie. That would. You know that these would. crazy, like looking characters who clearly are aimed at children, but they're in this crazy situation where like they really can't die. Yeah. yeah. But like, and they, it's a very contained story, or right? And there's other heroes, and they have to figure out like who's you know who's truly good, who isn't. Yeah. And you know, you got the two news announcers who I thought were hilarious. Oh, yeah. Um, but I mean, Wanted for the most to... part, like I would have never pegged anyone for making a Ratchet and Clank movie. Yeah. Ever. Like, that would have never been something I would have thought, like, there's a movie. Yeah. But when you say it out loud, then I'm like, well, I think the other game would be better. But personally, that's not where I would have gone. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, you might as well make, like, a Spyro movie. Yeah. Or, like, a, like a Sly Cooper movie. You know what I mean? Like, if you're looking to do something that's more along those lines, mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know. Like, Ratchet and Clank's is not where I would have yeah. gone. It's also, like, it's well-known, but it's not super well-known. No. Ratchet and Clank is no Mario. No. You know, like, people know him, we know him, but, like, mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's I, hard. I just, it's hard. I mean, I did appreciate that they got the voices, at least. That was her. cool. Very cool. That was, that was heads up. That's, so, that's a good thing to right. remember. Yeah. To, you know. But this is another example of, okay, live action video game movies haven't always been the best. Okay, mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat was hilarious, and so was Mortal Kombat 2, even more hilarious. Yeah. But they're not necessarily great. Super Mario, it's not great. It's not good. No. It's just, it's, it's not it's good a thing. at all. It's, it's something that exists. And yeah. I don't recommend watching it. Um, <laughs> I imagine Nintendo's got like that. If they got their boards for like their movie stuff, it's like the poster and it's like never right. again. I never saw the Hitman movie because I'm so like... I forgot that they made one. Yeah. Fact, two. So. Yeah. Two? They oh, did. Well, and I go. never saw, I didn't see it. Yeah. Silent Hill for me, I'm not a fan of the movies at all, even remotely. You know what I mean? Like... It's just, and that was, that's a, that's a whole other conversation yeah. to have oh, right yeah. there and then. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I like to think that the comic book industry and what they're doing with movies is helping to make, mm -hmm. or to, to help others cr have better choices yeah. and make better decisions and to show, like, if you put thought into it and if you actually really try, because if you think about what the people have to do in the comic book industry to make a movie where they have to take all this history yeah like for you like for decades decades of history yeah and try to pick the best parts of it and make something out of right. that it's a lot to do oh yeah and yeah. and but they had to put a lot of thought into it and mm -hmm. they had to really try to make it to coalesce into something yeah and that's what they have to do yeah they have to start looking at at um franchises series mm -hmm. and just one-off games that can that have a strong enough story yeah. to support a game or a movie in which you don't have to like rely on the interaction the direct interaction and the direct guidance of a player yeah yeah. Now, I think, I personally think that the reception to Warcraft, and the in particular the reception to Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. 
are going to make a big difference in the way that people see video game movies and where we go, whether it's good or bad, I don't know yet. Yeah. And I don't think any of us are going to know until until the, the, the dust settles. Are, yeah. Until the dust settles, <laughs> we're not going to really know. I can only hope that it goes somewhere really positive. Yeah. Because there are certain things that I think inevitably could make really great games, but only if everyone's in the right mindset. Yeah. Yep. And seriously, I think Nintendo is in a good place, and I and I hope that they don't look at the Ratchet and Clank numbers. I hope that they yeah. just look at the success of other animated films. Yes. And they take cautious, careful steps, mm -hmm. but got, they got to go for it. Yeah, and they they do smart things. Yeah. So that's so that's good. I think the big takeaway here, guys, is um, if you want to see a Nintendo movie. This year apparently is going to be kind of particular for their like or important for their numbers to okay. see where this goes. I'm not not trying to show for them. I'm not trying to tell them to like go out and definitely buy something. But if you're thinking buy about stuff. it, yeah. <laughs> if you were thinking about it, now might be a good time. You know, hit social media. Mm -hmm. Like tell them that this only you're excited about. Tell them what properties you're excited to see because uh, they might pay attention to this stuff. Who knows? They could. You know what I mean? Like okay. I would definitely do that. Um, but um, I'm going to turn this on now so oh. that's. So it warms up so that I can <laughs> not have that awkwardness after we say goodbye. Right. That I'm like, okay, I gotta I'm do just, a song and dance gotta, now. Okay, yeah, yeah, just, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but um, thank you guys so much for joining us on this special Elseworlds exchange where Danielle and I took over for the day to talk to you about not only some of the stuff we heard we learned from Valiant yesterday, which if you didn't see that weekly poll episode we have, that will be up shortly on iTunes and on Comic Pop itself. Yep. You can check it out there. Yep. We actually shot in the Valiant office and we had so many special guests on that. I was on that podcast. Rob, Benny, Sal, we were all in the same room. <gasps> same room. I, I literally, I literally hugged Rob. That's wild. He put his arm around me. I was all like, mm. Is he soft? He's snuggly. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> but we had the CEO from Valiant, the head of social media, the editor in chief from Valiant. They wow. came in, they sat down, they talked with us. We even had special guests for a little bit, Eris from <gasps> Variant Comics. That's awesome. So if you didn't get a chance to check that out, please go and do that. And don't forget to check out all the other stuff that we do on Comic Pop. Back is just coming out tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. There's kind of a fun little opening bit, something that they haven't tried yet. Ooh, so right. very cool, very exciting. Cool. Sal's been diligently working on that. Cool. And, you know, just keep coming back. And like, next week there'll be another Elseworlds Exchange. Sal will probably be back, more than likely, unless I just like this power trip I'm on right now. Um, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. And, you know, head on over to Comic Pop. Don't forget to... Follow us on all our social media. Sal's at Sal says what? I'm at the Real Zoobs. Daniel's actually at Danachu. And you can check us out on the realcomicpop.com. Yes, that's it for something kind of new and special we're working on. Ooh. As always, we'll see you guys next time. And now I'm going to do the awkward thing. Oh. <laughs>